I want to talk about a few things that are really important if you want to succeed as a self-taught programmer that most people don't realize going into this. Most of us are told that learning how to code is as simple as picking a tutorial on YouTube and printing Hello World. What ends up happening is that after a while, most people that set out to learn how to code on their own give up because they didn't realize how much went into this in the first place. So I just wanna talk about a few things that'll help you succeed as a self-taught programmer that you should know going into this. The first thing is that you need to be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and resourceful. As a programmer, you're gonna be constantly coming across problems that you're gonna to need to solve. And sometimes you're gonna come across new problems that you've never seen before and you're gonna have to go out and figure it out. You're gonna have to Google stuff, you're gonna have to read documentation, you're gonna have to go through Stack Overflow posts, and you're gonna have to try to figure stuff out on a regular basis. So when you set out to learn how to code as a self-taught programmer, you have to realize that this is part of the job. The next thing, when you're self-taught, you have to realize that you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot to learn how to code on your free time. Even if you're a college kid who lives at home with your parents, you're still gonna have to decide whether or not you're gonna play video games or learn how to code. You're gonna have to decide whether or not you're gonna go out with your friends or learn how to code. And I remember when I was learning how to code, I sacrificed a lot. I stopped going to the gym. I stopped hanging out with friends. I basically did nothing but code all day long on my free time when I was at work and I had some downtime I would be on my phone reading about stuff and trying to learn as much as I could and you may not realize it going in when you're only spending a couple hours here and there but if you're really serious about this and you want to learn how to code to get a job you're gonna have to put in a lot of work and with that work comes a lot of sacrifice and if you're not willing to sacrifice all of that free time in order for you to learn how to code, it's gonna take you a lot longer to, to go through the process. And if you want to get a job as quickly as possible, your sacrifices are probably gonna to have to be a lot bigger. And it could cause you to just not follow through with this because it, it is gonna take a lot of sacrifice and a lot of time. And, and when it comes to time, I wanna talk about patience. You, you really need to be patient when you're learning how to code, especially when you do it self-taught. Because since, you may not have any experience teaching yourself something and this may be new to you. There's gonna be a lot of times when you're gonna feel dumb. There's gonna be a lot of times when you're gonna get stuck on stuff. This is a long process. Although many boot camps and some people on the internet market this as something that's easy and you can do quickly, it's not the case for most people. This stuff is hard. It takes a lot of determination and grit to stick it through. The first couple months might be a lot of fun, but then when you get into the grind part, when you get into the part that is not fun, and things start getting boring, you're gonna need to be able to hold yourself accountable and you're gonna need to have that determination that it takes in order for you to be able to follow through with this and see it through and actually accomplish the goal of getting your first job as a developer if that is in fact your goal. You're also gonna need a lot of self-discipline. Like I mentioned, the first few months are usually pretty easy. A lot of us are highly motivated and we have this honeymoon phase where we're just super excited to be learning something new. But when we hit that plateau and we realize that this is gonna take a long time, but if you don't have that self-discipline to make sure that you show up after you take a break or that you make sure that you continue to do this and you hold yourself accountable for it, you're probably not gonna succeed as a self-taught programmer. The last thing I feel like I need to mention in this video is that you're not gonna realize how much self-doubt you're gonna have about completing this when it comes down to it. You're not gonna realize that there's a process and even though you're doing that process, you're gonna fail to trust the process sometimes. And there's gonna be times when it feels like it's not gonna happen. There's gonna be times when you're gonna say, I should go to a boot camp. There's gonna be times when you're gonna say, I can't get hired because I don't have a college degree. And a lot of that self doubt for most people, at least for myself, it felt like it started to happen towards the end of my learning process. I started feeling more and more self-doubt. I started feeling more imposter syndrome. I started feeling all those negative things that were telling me that I can't do this. And the truth is that that was just my own self-doubt. That was just my own insecurities. And when I kind of flipped that switch and convinced myself that I was gonna do it no matter what, it really helped a lot with that self-doubt and it helped me trust the process more. So if you're coming into this and you're learning how to code and you're doing it self-taught, there's gonna be a a lot of stuff that I mentioned in this video and there's gonna be other things that you're probably gonna come across that you're not gonna realize went into learning how to code and went into doing this and accomplishing this goal of becoming a programmer. But as long as you're aware that this is something normal that many of us go through when we set out to learn how to code on our own, then you should be good. All right, with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.